Well, I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy, and I'm trying to redo this house, which obviously needs a lot of work done to it. But uh, I got to try and do it all myself. I've only got, a, we'll say, a few thousand dollars, and that's uh, being pretty hopeful about things. But anyway, um, so we got the. There was a porch here. It wasn't nearly as big as this. It only went from basically window to window and only came out about this far by about four feet or so, just kind of a step off porch. And I want something a little bit bigger. So uh, what I've done is I've, we got this uh, fence digging out and there was no foundation, we'll say for the, uh, for the porch. So I come in and have poured concrete for a uh, for slab foundation and yes i could have done just a, a banister foundation but i want to use this for a storm shelter or storage area something along that lines you know just have it available if they want it and had a had a door cut in to the the foundation so access from the inside in case of like i said in case of storm and it also helps with uh, security and leaks and things of that sort so uh anyway what we got going on i had had the the block laid i don't lay block but i can do about everything else so we took extra block that we had left and built pillars to uh to suspend what uh basically is a deck frame so i got uh, i built a deck frame put all the screws in from the outside so that uh, they would hold better. I don't. I don't like toenail and stuff. I don't think it holds as well. Maybe it does. Uh, but anyway, I got all that put together, and I measured it uh, very, very tight. Which, thinking about it now, was kind of a mistake because when I went to put it in, I had to get up on top of it, put a piece of pie board up there, and stomp it down, and use a sledgehammer and knock it down in here to try to get it down to. Uh, to reach my blocks but uh something else to think about too is when somebody lays block they're really good but they just can't be perfect there's going to be a mortar sticking out or a block that's just a teeny tiny bit you know cockeyed but anyway so whenever you're building this deck up leave about a half to three quarters of an inch gap and uh, when you go to drop it in that'll leave you a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch to uh be able to just drop it in you won't have to have that problem uh, another problem with me being so tight with this was that when i put it in there was a couple of blocks down at that end down there that uh, i actually knocked loose well i'm not gonna go back and try to remortar them but what i am going to do is uh, i'll just pour some concrete in there to uh, stiffen that back up again i don't know if i need to i'm not taking any chances but uh, i was told to get an engineer by one guy that uh, he really didn't know what to tell me and I, I just can't afford an engineer. So uh, being self-sufficient, I come up with this plan of building the pillars and, and building the deck frame on top of it. And then when I got the deck, I got that frame down now, I'll just put uh, some plywood, like I said, you know, across from side to side. I'll wings down through here, screw it down. That should be come, ready to come back in a few days and and uh pour the concrete of course uh, something i did learn on an actual another video and talking to people is all these holes you lose a lot of concrete that way so take like uh roofing shingles or just something along that lines and put it down through there and i'll cover all those holes up and uh you won't have to account for all that extra concrete so i guess that about do it of course i still gotta get my flashing put up here but uh, wish me luck, everybody. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to send them. I can use everything I could get.